adventuring in a bat cave. Boy, do we smell like bat guano. Bat guano is bat poop. And bat guano smells big time. Hey, let's call Zabu. All right. Zabu! Zabu Bafu! Hey, hey, Zabu! He's here! Hey, Zabu! You must have smelled this all the way in the forest. You know Zabu. No chat until after he's had a snack. So what do you think's in the snack machine? Zabu! Banana! Come on! There you go. Mm, we all love bananas. Okay, one more little piece. There you go. <laughs> Excuse me. Zabu Mafu! Mmm, I love bananas. You smell. You smell different. Well, not the same. Not like Chris, not like Martin. That's because we have the smell of guano on us. Guano? Guano? <laughs> What's guano? Poop. Poop. <laughs> not all creatures like the smell of bat poop, but most creatures are really curious about how other creatures smell. I saw a creature in the forest. Smell, smell, sniff, sniff. That's what he did. Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see Can you help me guess this mystery? <laughs> He's one big body And what a nose! <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see used his nose to eat with. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He's a big, long-nosed creature. Do you know who he is? Long, snaky nose. Big, floppy ears. Big, round feet. Tiny eyes. Really, really heavy. Little tail. It's a baby elephant! Long <laughs> Zika, Mystery Animals here! Wow! Hey. How you doing? A baby ethylent? Elephant, Zob! Elephant. Elephant. Hi, elephant! I think he's interested in our guano smell. <laughs> Maybe he followed our smell all the way to Animal Junction. Wow, look at these feet. See, these are the toes. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. These are the toenails. The bottom of an elephant's foot is like one big soft pad. This helps an elephant walk really quietly, even though he's so big. Manga Zika. Wow. Your hair is hard. Yeah, the hair that covers an elephant's body is hard and bristly, like a toothbrush. Ooh. 
but this <laughs> toothbrush is more his size. <laughs> Let's give him a good back scratch. Yes, yeah, scratch <laughs> is good, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna scratch right behind his ears. Hey, Chris, try that on me. Sure, Zob. Uh, oh, that feels good. Oh, oh, lower down my back. Oh, oh, oh. How's oh, that, Zob? Oh, yeah, harder, 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 harder. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, <laughs> you okay, Zob? Yeah. Come on, Zob, huh? let's keep brushing. <laughs> Underneath the belly. Oh. I can't cover that much elephant with this little toothbrush, so I have to do the detail work. How does that feel? Boy, hard with a small toothbrush. Hey, look at the elephant's tail. It's kind of like a toothbrush, too. See those bristles? <laughs> Back to scratching. There's a lot of elephant to cover. And he loves being scratched with a toothbrush. Hey, can I call you toothbrush? Toothbrush, that's a great name, Zob. A good toothbrush scratch for toothbrush. Yup, and we scratched him from top to bottom. An elephant has one of the most incredible noses. It's called a trunk. Trunk? A trunk? Huh, his trunk is longer than my whole body. And toothbrush can do incredible things with this nose. Can he blow a goobleberry off his nose? Toothbrush, what are you doing? Hey, you smelling my shoes. An elephant uses his nose to help him talk. <laughs> Elephants make all kinds of sounds. When they're excited or surprised, they trumpet. Wow. Oh, no. oh, that tickles. <laughs> He can tickle with his nose, too. That's right, Zob. An elephant uses his nose to explore. Hey, what's he doing with harmonica? <laughs> Toothbrush, you're playing the harmonica. Harmonica? An elephant's nose is always up to something. What a nose, yeah. Look how the elephant can grab onto things with his trunk. <laughs> Just call me Trunk Fingers. <laughs> I wish my nose could grab onto things and reach out. It's like having an arm and a hand on your face. What a nose. Wow. <laughs> and look at the way he uses his nose as a straw. He sucks water up into his nose and then blows it out into his mouth. That's the way an elephant drinks, with his nose. A creature who drinks with his nose? I can't believe my mind. <laughs> Whoa, another amazing thing an elephant can do with his nose. Use it as a hose. Toothbrush gave you a shower, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elephants spray themselves and each other to keep cool. Because nothing feels better than a cool shower on a hot African afternoon. Sabu, have a look at this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're supposed to kick it. He's trying to eat the soccer ball. I can't believe my mind. Wow, look at him kick that ball. <laughs> Let's play. Wow. Hey, he's really good at this. <laughs> I'm at ya. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I wonder who taught him to play soccer. Through the left. Oh, nice hey. kick. Nice kick, toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Whoa. Thanks, toothbrush. Oh, whoa. That reminds me of something that happened in Sabu Land. Wow. I was leaping along, leap, 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 when all of a sudden, I heard a sniffling sound. I took one big leap and landed next to Narchi, who was standing next to Google and crying. What's the matter, Narchi? Why are you crying? We're trying to play catch with the Goobleberry, but I can't throw, because my arms are too stubby. <laughs> well, I said we could play another game, but uh, he wants to play catch. 
I've got an idea, Narchi. Don't use your arms to throw. Use your nose and blow. Oh, good idea. <laughs> oh, good idea, huh? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm ready. Oh, ready. Here we go. Oh. And I'm the lemur oh, in the ready. middle. Yeah. <laughs> ready. Oh. 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 Nice catch. Oh. It works. <laughs> I can play. Oh, let's do it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. So we played Goobleberry Catch all day. Oh. And I was the lemur in the middle. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Here, catch. The end. <laughs> Chris, Martin, toothbrush is hungry. <laughs> I want to eat those. <laughs> we have a lot better stuff. Come over here to the food machine. All right, so what do you want? Okay, you know, you don't want that. That's for a quaddy. This is for a porcupine. Let's see. Here, how about... I know we have stuff for elephants. Can you back up a little bit? Hey, right over here. Elephant stuff. Look, see that? There we go. Push it together. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Chris, it's on the fritz again. Uh-oh. Not again. I'll get the I'll tools. Be right back. Yeah. We'll fix it up to feed an elephant. Hold it, Martin. Look at that. Toothbrush has an idea. Your nose. Good idea, toothbrush. Whoa! Look at that trunk go. <laughs> well, I guess he fixed it himself. <laughs> That's an amazing thing about an elephant's nose. Hey, you know, this is too much work, though. We still got to fix this machine. Yeah. At this rate, he'll never fill his belly. Man, Toothbrush has a big belly. <laughs> because elephants need a lot of food. When an elephant's hungry and wants some leaves, she might push down the whole tree. Then her nose goes into action, packing in over 300 pounds of food in one day. Hang on there, toothbrush. Yeah, we just have to fix this thing up to feed an elephant. There. We're ready. Let's give it a try. <laughs> now this is what an elephant needs. A lot of food. He eats as much as a dinosaur. There you go. <laughs> Loves that apple. I'm already full, but he just keeps on eating. Let's watch this apple go from the elephant's trunk into his mouth. I love the sounds the elephant makes when he eats. <laughs> You're the greatest toothbrush. I'm feeling kind of elephantish. I'm feeling kind of elephantish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel elephantish. How about you? Elephantish. Ella, Ella, elephantish. <laughs> elephantish. <laughs> it tickles. I'm a long nosed noser, nosing all around. Elephant dish. <laughs> Toothbrush is my elephant friend. Yeah, Zob. And elephants say hello to their friends with their trunks. Wow! Toothbrush really likes Chris. Elephants are really social animals. That means they like to be together. They really don't like being on their own much. Elephants live together in groups, and a group of elephants is called a herd. Where's his family? Hope he's not lost. He must have wandered away from the herd when he followed his nose to Animal Junction. But the herd must be close by, because everybody in the herd looks after the baby elephants. Elephants are a lot like us. Like people, a young elephant stays with his mom for a long, long time. I think Toothbrush wants to go back to his herd soon. Hmm. What was that? What? Huh? Everybody, duck! duck. duck. It's a vulture, not a duck! <laughs> All right. Manga, Zika. Look at those wings. Woo! <laughs> wow. 
And look at that nose. A turkey vulture has the best sense of smell of any animal in the world. And look at this. You can see right through his nostril. Wow. Hey, that message from Jackie must be around here somewhere. Here it is. All right, let's see what she's up to. From Jackie. Hey, why don't you guys come over and help me mow the lawn? Just kidding. Hold it, a garter snake. I can't cut the grass. There's lots of creatures that share my backyard, like the garter snake. And sometimes if you share your yard, you really have to share it. So I think I'll leave this part for my friends, because I could always cut the grass later. Hey there, Snooter. I'd rather play with Snooter than mow the lawn anyway, wouldn't you? And you know what? Dogs are great smellers. Great smellers. Jackie just gave me a great idea. But there's no grass to cut, Martin. Not that's up. I thought of a way that we could get Toothbrush back to the elephant herd. That's right. All we have to do is call Myrtle. She's a bloodhound, and bloodhounds are one of the best smellers around. Yeah, and she can sniff her way all the way to Toothbrush's herd. Great idea. Let's call Myrtle. Let's do it. Myrtle! Come here, girl! Come Myrtle. on, Myrtle! Myrtle! Hey, guys! Uh oh. I don't think they know Toothbrush is leaving. Here she comes. Hey, hey, Chris, Martin. Just a minute, Zabu. Oh. Hey, Myrtle, how you doing? Good to see you, Myrtle. Hey, hey, Chris, Martin. Myrtle's here, but Toothbrush is already gone. He's gone? He's gone. We better get to the closet. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. A leash for Myrtle. Great. Mark. Oh, yeah. Well, we got to do what we got to do. Yikes! Oh! <laughs> Let's go find our elephant. OK, Myrtle's going to smell this harmonica because it has toothbrushes scent on it. Remember? Toothbrush blew on the harmonica and left his scent. A scent is a smell. Myrtle is sniffing the harmonica and picking up the scent of Toothbrush. Now Myrtle can sniff her way to Toothbrush, and we can make sure Toothbrush gets safely back to his herd. They're going on a cool adventure, and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet, and they're headed out the door. Toothbrush must have passed by here. Hey, Myrtle, take a sniff. She's got the scent. All right. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go see where Myrtle's nose is taking Chris. Come on. Oh. It's an elephant track. We're right on her trail. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that blood hen has a nose that never quits. Myrtle has the scent again. Let me take the trail. Okay, but hold on tight. Oh. Oops. Look at that nose go. Wait up, Myrtle. <laughs> there she is. Hey. <laughs> Why'd you finally stop? <laughs> I know why she stopped. We found Toothbrush. And his whole family. But before we see them, we have somebody to take care of. How about some water before you head home? <laughs> there you go, Myrtle. There you go. Good job, Myrtle. Nice. Bye, Myrtle. Happy sniffing. And now for the elephants. Come on. Wow. Look at those noses go. Let's watch and see how an elephant uses his nose in the wild. Right now, they're picking up nosefuls of grass. Elephants are super strong animals. Even their noses are strong. An elephant's nose can pick up a log. You really think she can pick that up? She did it! That is one strong nose. 
Let's see if we can pick up this log. Ready, Martin? Ready. <laughs> Not only can an elephant's nose pick up big things, it can also pick up teeny tiny things. Like a leaf. Elephant noses can do almost anything. Hey, Martin, now that we have Toothbrush back to his family, let's follow our noses back to Animal Junction. All right, let's go! <laughs> what are you looking for? I mean, if you don't, Something's you going on in there. Do you, you want sure? to find out why? Okay, well, go ahead. Well, I'll just watch them. Hey, Kawadis! That's who you are. You never told me. You're Kawadis. Kawadis have one of the greatest sniffers in the creature world. Kawadi noses are great smellers. Those noses can smell food buried in the sand. <laughs> they stick their nose right in there. Is that why they have such long noses? Yeah, Zob, look how long they are. It's almost like they use it as a shovel. Yeah, look at that. And then once they find some, it's like they dig it up. Oh, what are they looking for over there? Talk about an animal that follows its nose. Hey, what are you looking for? What do you smell? Munga <laughs> Tsika, <laughs> food in sand I want to dig. Go for it, Zom. Thanks. <laughs> Digging, yeah. <laughs> hey, you're great. Thanks. Oh, Martin's digging too. Kawadi found an egg. Oh, my eggs are great! <laughs> Look at him trying to hold on to the egg. <laughs> no, hold on, no. <laughs> it's hard to get a good hold on an egg, <laughs> even with the Kawadi's sharp claws. Mangatsika! I can't believe my mind! Kawadis love to eat eggs. So, as soon as this guy can break it open, I'm sure he's gonna have a feast. Look, he did it! broke the egg by ramming it into the post. Kawadis are pretty smart, too. That's some slimy stuff he's eating. What'd you guys find? This Kawadis nose led him straight to an egg. Wow. Kawadis love to chow down on eggs, especially turtle eggs. He just waits for the sea turtle to lay her eggs in the sand, and then the Kawadi gets down to business. He sniffs his way to the turtle eggs, and when he finds them, digs them up for a great supper. But eggs aren't the only thing a Kawadi eats. Every Kawadi loves a good coconut. Yeah, that's another neat thing about Kawadis. They eat just about anything. They're called omnivores. Omnivores means, well, when you're an animal, they you eat anything. Even scorpions. And a Kawadi is so fast, she can catch a scorpion without getting stung on the nose. What a creature, and what a nose. I had a friend who had a nose you wouldn't believe in Sabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. And then I heard a funny noise. It sounded to me like Narchi. Sure enough, it was Narchi. Climbing up the hill, pushing a zoot fruit. But then he sneezed and slid down the hill. The zoot fruit rolled down after him. I tried again. Climbing up the hill with his zoot fruit, but he sneezed again and slid down the hill. The zoot fruit rolled down after him. Then Narchi said, I just can't get my zoot fruit to the top of the hill. So I said to him, Hey, Narchi, why don't you use something else to push the zoot fruit? Well, I don't have anything else. I only have me. Why don't you use your sneezy nose to help you? Try walking backwards and pushing the zoot fruit with your behind. Oh, and don't forget to sneeze. Thanks, Zom. So Narchi's nose sneezed him up the hill. <laughs> what a nose. <laughs> I did it. I climbed the hill. <laughs> so me and Narchi sat on top of the hill and nibbled on his zoot fruit all day. The end. <laughs> noses are the greatest smellers, sniffers, and rollers. I love noses. Their noses want to take them home now. Bye, Kawadis. See you later, Kawadis. Bye. 
Heads up. Huh? You have fun today. Oh, yeah. Especially when Toothbrush gave Chris a shower with his nose. <laughs> and when we found Toothbrush and his family. Yeah, that too. That too. And I love the part when we were sniffing around with the quad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names. But we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go, Go make an animal friend today. today. Yeah. Bye, guys. I'll see you later, Zabu. Bye, Zab. Hey, let's go bike up the mountain. Great idea. Mountain biking. We'll see you next time. Hi, my name is Amanda, and this is my pet, Delphmere. I have to pet him.